you guys doing? Good? Welcome. Welcome to the mystery hour. It's that thing that comes on after you fall asleep and you're like, what? Oh. Sorry, that's Josephine, the Amish streaker. <laughs> hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. We have Spencer Harris and Caleb Stokes from the game Party Foul. Yeah. And we have the music of Jonathan Joseph. Jonathan Joseph. And we have a great title sponsor, Branson Chamber of Commerce. We love him so much, we made a video for him. Check it out. We love Branson. Hey, look who else. Mo. We love Mo. Hey. Hey. I should have thought of a question or something for you. Good. How you doing? Good? Hey, I'm doing super awesome. Good. How about you? Oh, fine. Okay. All right, let's do things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Things I've noticed. Things I've noticed. Things I've observed. You might know some of these. All right. Here we go. I've noticed that socks are just spanks for ankles. <laughs> I've noticed that animals in movies upset me because they've had more success in Hollywood than me and they don't even know it. <laughs> Just oblivious. I've noticed that if a burger joint messes up my order, they apologize by giving me an excessive amount of ketchup packets, which in my book is the opposite of an apology. <laughs> I've noticed that when your foot falls asleep but you try to walk anyway, shouldn't that be called sleepwalking? <laughs> so we have one of our writers is Katie, and she has a daughter who's four, and she wrote that one. <laughs> it's true. And finally, I've noticed that saying it is what it is is the only way I know of to speak words and say nothing. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. 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 All right, we're going to move right along. You guys are going to love. Oh, that must be the Galois Alley Door. We have one of those cool... Uh, Doorbells where you have a camera on it. So let's uh, let's check in. Hey, hello, how are you? What's going on out there? Hello. Rock, <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh no, you guys. Okay, it's the uh, I sold my parrot to this guy on Craigslist last week, and that's him. Uh, hey, I've come to return your bird. It's. It's time to return the bird. <laughs> Rock, hello! <laughs> Why? Wait, hold on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, this thing is just mean. It's just me You know how some parrots repeat things that they hear? Mm -hmm. This parrot observes you and then keeps that in its back pocket to embarrass you later. It's a mean bird. Okay. Hello! All right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, listen. I know he's, I know he's quirky,
But that's fine. I, I told you, I gave them to you as is. I can't take them back. I'm just too busy in this season of my life. Brock! Jeff wears prescription diapers, Brock! <laughs> that, that's between me and the doctor, and it's a, pres it's a prescription. <laughs> See? Mean. Shut it, Baldy! Brock! <laughs> Wow, okay, yeah, he sounds, he sounds out of control. Brock, where's Spanx? Jeff, where's Spanx? <laughs> All right, listen, 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 no, no, no. What is going on? What's wrong? Brock, your parents are not impressed with you, Brock! <laughs> All right, that's enough. What is the deal? Brock! <clears throat> <clears throat> Nobody respects parents. You treat us like house pets that you just pass around. Ooh, look at what my parent can do. He repeats words. You know what we call parents who repeat words? Stupid parents. We can do so much more than that. Oh, really? I had no idea. Like, like what? What can oh, you do? You want to see something? Yeah. How about like this, Houghton? You like this? Oh, how about some of this? You want to see this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. But you didn't see that coming? Oh, I'm not even looking. All right, okay, that is, okay, okay. That, that is impressive. I'm, I'm actually impressed with that. All right, you want to see something else? Check this out. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's right, I can shoot arrows. Go, arrow. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. That, that is, that's kind of amazing. That's kind of amazing. I'll give that to you. All right, you know what else I could do? Maybe, maybe I could do your taxes. Would you like that? Yeah, I, yeah, actually I would. I'd love that. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I'm not going to! And you know why? Because you wouldn't know the difference between a W-2 and a W-9 if it pooped on your shoulder. Hashtag parrot burn. All right, I'm gonna go now. So America respect parrots and peace I'm out. <laughs> All right, respect Phoenix America. We'll be right back. That comedy bit brought to you by Bush Ramlow and Shore CPAs. Set design and construction brought to you by Elamus Digital Quill Studio and Skinny Theatrical Design and Fabrication. Close captioning for the Mystery Hour provided by Paragon Architecture. Big Whiskey's is the official American restaurant and bar of the Mystery Hour. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Welcome back, everybody. We have a great guest tonight. It's actually two guests, but we only have one great guest sponsor. Ha ha! It's the History Museum on the Square. You ever wonder where Grandpa's stuff went? They took it. <laughs> That's a real place and a horrible way to do that. <laughs> Our guest tonight made a hit board game. They just made one. It's called Party Foul. We're excited to have them here. Please welcome Spencer Harris and Caleb Stokes. Come on out, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. Jeff. <laughs> You're so, welcome for selling out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know everyone's here for us. Yeah, definitely. everyone's very excited. <laughs> so, I don't know where to start. You guys have, first you have a board game podcast. Yes. Tell everyone what that is. So the Mix 6 podcast, mm -hmm. I know how to use a microphone, podcaster. We usually put that on <laughs> ahead yeah. of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Mix 6 podcast, so we, um, Caleb and I are board game and beer enthusiasts, which is a very productive way of talking about your alcoholism. And... Um, <laughs> 
So Caleb and I were drinking a bunch of beer and playing a bunch of board games, and so uh, we decided we, ha we have a good friend, Ross Payton, who's been recording a really successful podcast for going on 10 years now. So we started the Mix 6 podcast uh, a little over two years ago. Mm -hmm. We drink six beers. We review them throughout the course of the show, and then with each beer we do a different segment. So we talk about board games, we talk about pop culture, mm -hmm. we argue about stuff, and then the more we drink, kind of the, the deeper and probably worse the show topics get. Yeah. yeah. So did you, I know Spencer, you're married, did... did um... Do you think that sounds impossible given what I've just described? <laughs> that... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was before. The marriage? <laughs> the marriage was before the podcast? Yeah. It was. That's how okay. we tricked her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 She was like, oh, he's just a regular guy. Yeah. yeah. Bait and switch. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Got you good. Yeah. Now, Caleb, I imagine that you start a podcast that involves drinking, and then by the end of it, you're like, well, we should play some board games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we did the board game thing first, uh, but it's sort of... They became excuses for each other. You know, gonna play some board games, get a drink. Yeah, get right. a drink, gotta play some board games, yeah. It's, so, pa it's Pavlovian now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just getting thirsty yeah. whenever like, you like see when I Monopoly. see a board game, I'm like, my God, I am just <laughs> very thirsty. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we'll get to your board game, but I wanna know, like, what you guys think of classic board games. Should I like them? Mm. Candyland? Not a game. Not a game. What does that mean? Not it's, a game. It's not a game. I mean, it's a game in the same way that like walking down the street is a game. Like, <laughs> you you move and things happen, but there's there's no game to it. I apologize if I've offended any four year olds, but Candyland is like <laughs> like not a game. It's just you're just pooping on our collective childhood. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shoes and ladders. Same. Reskinned. Same. Not a game. It's just, all right, yeah. you guys are a couple of curmudgeons, huh? Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of kids and your lawn? Yeah. <laughs> Get Same. off. Same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely all right, so we got, we got your game. Yeah. It's called Party Foul. For, for legal reasons, it's called Party Foul, the Game of Drunk Ducks. Party yeah. Foul, the Game of Drunk Ducks. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> it's awesome artwork. Thank yeah. you. So what goes on in this game? Why? First, is it a game? <laughs> Fair. It is a game. It's and, a game. Yeah, people make decisions. There are consequences to those decisions. Um, yeah. There it are, sounds like walking down the street. There are ducks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> yeah, you, you take this one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Spencer and I went to college together, and mm -hmm. we were reminiscing about our, our days uh, with house parties. Yeah. Uh, and so we decided, hey, you know, there's not a lot of games about partying. There's games about war or living in a land of candy. Um, <laughs> and uh, so let's make a game about partying. Uh, but we didn't want to be about people. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we, we split a six pack, and we had a whiteboard. And when we woke up the next day, there were a bunch of duck puns and math on the whiteboard. And then we spent a year turning that into a game. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Is it officially released yet? Uh, yes, so we are going to get distribution through Tabletop Direct, so you can buy it online there, uh, tabletopdirect.com. And uh, yes, we kickstarted it, and it is on a train going towards a warehouse yeah. to be shipped yeah. And it is, I mean, I'm teasing about it, but like in the, in the board game world, your podcast is successful, and then this is like legit that like it's, it's, it's going. What does this mean? Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Yeah. What, what about this one? Yeah. Sports. Uh -huh. There's a lot about sports in there, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Is it uh, just say sports? Yeah. Right. Uh, so you move around the house. Uh, okay. And You're in a house. The, yeah. the, there are certain conversations at any house party, yeah. which the conversations are going to be more cool. Yeah. So out on the deck with all the jocks, you talk about sports. Okay. But you don't want to talk about that in the basement where we would live talking about board games. <laughs> right. uh, so you would want to play a board game card there. Yeah. Uh, and so the goal of the game is to become the coolest duck, the big duck on campus. Okay. Uh, and But the thing is, you can play party fights on other players, so okay. they spill their beer, or there's PDA, no one likes that. <laughs> that takes cool points away from them, and so you sort of socially engineer yourself to be the coolest duck. <laughs> and it's, 
It's like fun, silly, but like you've actually like thought through. There's, there's probably strategy involved in all of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, there's strategy involved. So we took it to a con we, we've taken it to a few conventions now. Board um, game conventions? Yeah. Yeah. Very. <laughs> What's the male to female ratio at a <laughs> board game convention? Ga ga gaming is an inclusive space, and there are a lot more a lot more women playing games today. Uh huh. Yeah. Good answer. There you go. Okay. Uh, it's still not a good ratio. <laughs> Close. But it's it's better maybe. Yeah. Um, so we've taken it to a bunch yeah. of conventions, and uh, yeah, what's what's kind of always like refreshing to hear is that the game is like strategic. There's a lot of um, decisions that you can make, and there's yeah. a lot of um, planning that goes into the game. And it just so happens that like there are a lot of duck puns and <laughs> crass art on top of that stuff. <laughs> what are so, some of your fun your favorite duck puns? In so it? like most of the drink cards are probably my favorite duck puns. Mm -hmm. We just took like popular beverages. Yeah. Or uh, or like beer, and we just started making duck puns. So like instead of a Moscow mule, we we did a Muscovy mule. It's a type of duck. We learned a lot about ducks. <laughs> um, uh, instead of instead of Stella Artois, it's Feather Artois. For trademark purposes, it's probably not uh, that. Uh, a Shirley Temp Bill. <laughs> You characters are all Gamey Pond, Peter Ducklidge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> it sounds great. So, like, so, have you like practiced it with friends yet? Practice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Just, all the first like eight months was. Was it? Was like. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm st I'm still married. Uh, even though, <laughs> I just want to clarify that from earlier. Um, uh, yes, we, we had our significant others play that game 57,000 times. Yeah. We took it to previously discussed board game conventions and had strangers play it a bunch of times. We had friends play. It probably got played 150 times before we, we took yeah. it to just a, tweaking, we should, we should like tweaking. produce yeah. this thing now. Yeah. yeah, well that's awesome. So yeah. when someone watches this and wants to buy it, how are they gonna do that? Uh, you can go to tabletopdirect.com and uh, you can buy it through them, or you can go to Hit Point Sales if you own a game store, and right. they are our distributor, yeah. Well, there you go. Thanks for joining us, guys. Party foul. We'll be right back with Jonathan Joseph. Look at that time. It's perfect. Travel accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. Systematic Savings Bank, official bank of the mystery hour. The Mystery Hour is brought to you in part by Ozarks Technical Community College. You have a dream, we have a plan. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by Bear Village. <clears throat> we, we have a great musical guest tonight. Please put your hands together for Jonathan Joseph. It took time for me to grow my wings. To come to a place to be good with me. To look in the mirror, see your man I'm proud to be. My number one concern, my fam and God please. So please, no opinions, be silent on that front. I only give an air if you bend down from jump. When I was falling down and my people would help me up. My legs gave out, lady would be my crush, good luck. It's crazy how the puzzle came together. Crazy how to see that even failure can protect you. They give me all the words to compose my legend. Cause I was on the verge of becoming Mr. Legend. Take a breath. Let me take it all in. Just finished the EP a couple hours for I land. Peace to the waves, vibes in the sand. I said a couple times, let me say it one more again. I got my wings flying your way with me. Take me on your wings. We don't need to see. It don't matter how far we fly. Hey. Red clouds is all we chase. Look at you, you got your wings. Hey. Springfield, I go by the name of Jonathan Joseph. And if I could leave y'all with one message today, if you have a dream, make sure you keep going, keep chasing that dream. Honest as a late, I've been contemplating retirement. These bills is adding up and these hours becoming tireless. I've been moving forward, running away from regret. 
But every time I seem to level up, I always regress. I've been three stressed. Circumstances keeping me vexed. Little bro say he only feel safe when he ride with vests. If life my professor, she stay giving me tests. Always stay prepared, learn to make do with less. To be honest, I've been living with a broke heart. Mm. I still be one dark, can I translate my pain to Mozart? You know, songs in the key of life, something to keep my light bright. Cause that thing been flickering. Darkness encompassing, losing hope in myself. Mm. And all things good. I'm just trying to make a way to move my moms out the hood. Praying for God's favor, but won't rely on the Savior. I'm just trying to make something shake. I need it sooner than later, cause I'm. Hey, cause I'm. Springfield, when your heart broke and your mind tired of your faith, low when your hope died of your pain, blinds your mind dying, your dream keeping you up at night. Keep going. Hey, keep going. When your heart broke and your mind tired of your faith low, when your hope died of your pain blind, your mind dying, your dream keeping you up at night, keep going. Hey, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mm. When your heart broke and your mind tired of your faith low, when your hope died of your pain blind, your mind dying, your dream keeping you up at night, keep going. Springfield, keep going. Look. This is passion, pain, pleasure, penetrate songs at night. Mm. Only way to write my wrongs is through these songs that I write. I done did my homework, nobody is through desire. When it comes to casting vision, I only see through my third eye. I can see it all. Everything's so clear. Put everything in these verses till we top of the top tier. Occupy the king chair. The pain is what brought us here. I'm grateful for the prior, but 2019, the vibrant year. When your heart broke and your mind tired of your faith low and your hope died of your pain blind, your mind dying, your drink keeping you up at night, keep going. Keep going. That was awesome. That was so good. Good job, man. That was great. That was awesome. Jonathan Joseph, party foul, guys. That's our show. 10% of our box office proceeds this week goes to the Glendale Cross Country team in memory of Luke Miller.